Israel Defense Forces continue to increase the number of confirmed hostages in Gaza. Each time these numbers are released, it's testimony to the efforts of a prominent Israeli information scientist, a former University of Washington professor who now heads a critical situation room. Karim Nahum leads a small army of Israeli techies. The prominent digital information scientist has brought together some of her country's brightest minds in a makeshift war room where they used advanced data algorithms and artificial intelligence to locate victims of the October 7th terrorist attack. It's hundreds of people working from technology to information to social networks. It's a very interdisciplinary space. And what have these 400 people been able to accomplish? A lot. Actually, we've been able to identify the status of more than hundreds of people and help the different security forces and government agencies. We're talking about people who are hostages. People who are hostages. And then people who survived. Correct. And also people who died, murdered actually, slaughtered. At this point, Nahon's team's focus is on those still missing. We don't know exactly the situation of each one of them, but we know whether they're hostage or not. Are you able to make any determination on where they might be? I'd rather not talk about that. <laughs> With hundreds of lives on the line, they don't want Hamas terrorists to know what they do and do not know and what their custom-made algorithms are capable of discovering. We developed here a lot of algorithms that right now are not even in startups. These algorithms that you've created, what do they do? Some of the algorithms actually compare different videos with different images, but in a, in a very sophisticated level to, in order to identify hostages. Other types of algorithms try to identify and analyze voice. How much material is coming in from Gaza, being posted to social media and other networks from Gaza? We get a lot of information. This is our job, to get information. Information from on-the-ground videos, photos, data sent from phones and cameras, what she calls digital traces. And from that, being able, although the pictures are not good, although the videos are not good, being able to process it and match it to videos with hostages or in the streets of Gaza and match the right matching to find... Facial recognition. Exactly. This is how we found one of the hostages going to the hospital. This is how we found some of the children. Was this the same hostage that was shown in the yes. video? Yes. Yes. So you knew before that video came out? Correct. Is there any information that you've been able to gather that can give some of these families of the hostages hope? One of the red lines that we created in this space, I don't talk to the families. Nahan says her role is to provide the intelligence the war room generates to Israel's political, military, and intelligence leadership. They decide what to do with it. Is any of this information actionable in terms of saving the lives of these hostages? I hope so. I hope so. Glimmers of hope that may be fleeting. Jason Bellini, Scripps News, Tel Aviv.